Alola, Pokemon Masters, this is the Shining Ally, and today we are going to go right on to Battle Spot, which we had not done on the channel for a while. And seeing as there are competitions coming up for the double battle format, I think it's time to get some practice in and showcase what we have on the channel. So I've been brainstorming with my friend Dr. Awesome and trying to figure out what kind of team I want to bring for the tournament that's taking place this Saturday in Columbus. With that, this is the team that I believe that I want to bring or at least to this tournament and then alter from there, assuming changes are made, will be made for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So, as you can see in the screen, we have a Leafeon, which was completely Dr. Awesome and his sister Sheer Code's idea, and I really liked it and I wanted to give it a try. And we're bringing back the Milotic and the Alolan Marowak and the Alolan Ninetales, and then we're also going to be featuring a Lucario with Vacuum Wave and the Fight TMZ and an Archaeops with the Rock TMZ. We've got the Rock Z Crystal right here, so we will be all set with that. We made a few changes here and there, but I think the best thing to do is to go underway onto Battle Spot and for you guys to see for yourself what we have in store. Alright, so the tournament that's taking place in Columbus is the first one available with my schedule to be able to compete for some championship points. And I need to do a lot of practicing, so well before and after video uh, in regards to what happens on Saturday. But in the meantime, we have a battle here with another Andy. Dual Andys today. Andy is bringing the Tapu Lele, the Tapu Fini, the Garchomp, Arcanine, the, what's it, it's called the Bird, the Dark Bird, and then a Furamosa. So this is not going to be fun for us because we have some very scary special attackers on this team. I think the Arcanine might be scared away with the Milotic. I don't not sure what Andy wants to do here. But we're gonna open up with the Archaeops. We'll bring in Nine Tails. Lucario, and I think for coverage sake we'll bring the Milo tick along because Leafeon wouldn't do well against a bug type, Pheromosa, and the Arcanine and Garchomp, but Mandibuzz, that's the bird's name. Hold him back a sneeze and we will go underway with the first battle for the video. Good luck Andy, fellow trainer Andy. We'll open up with those two. The Pheromosa. Okay, the Psychic Terrain will prevent... Will prevent the... Attacks that hit priority. So what's more likely going to happen here? Pheromosa is a very... Physically and specially weak Pokemon as far as defense is, but its attack and speed are superb. So we gotta hit it hard before this cockroach wants to do anything to us. I want a Continental Crush the Lele slot. We'll try to set up an Aurora Veil. You know, that might be a taunt using... Tapu Lele goes first, which means it is Scarped. And it'll go for the Poison Jab to try to take out the Alola Ninetales. So in that instance, it is good to protect. There's no shame in that because he fears the... He fears the what? The Aurora Veil. So we'll go ahead and open up with our Rocky MZ. I missed it. Very awkward pose to try to do in real life. 
Yes, I've tried that. So we'll go ahead, even though we've done as much damage as we could, the Dazzling Gleam will put us below half HP, which will make this attack two times less effective. But does still quite a bit of damage, which is nice. Not sure who would have been better to attack there. We bring in Lucario or the Milotic. I'm gonna bring in the Lucario. He's gonna switch out. Pred predict the switch out and go for the protect on the Lucario. So we'll protect here, expecting a high jump kick or something. And you'll go for the Dazzling Gleam. RTF does paint to that. <sighs> Should have known that was going to happen. Double kick. Well, that's definitely better than the high jump kick, that's for sure. Okay, we are not doing so hot in this video. My opponent has a pretty high ranking, if I remember, 1580. We are starting out at 1500. And we haven't practiced since the last video because we were trying to do some team composition. I like this team. I just think most certainly could be doing a better job trying to build it. Build teams. The hail will knock on the Tapu Lele. He might switch out here or just go for a Dazzling Gleam and do as much damage as we can. The double kick will knock out the Lucario. What could we have done better in that situation? I was a little... A little confused about who to attack in that situation, so I think it would have been best to just pick on one and go with it. The Pheromosa needed to go down a lot sooner than it did right now. The Hail will knock out the Lele. So it would at least be a 2-0 victory. But let's see how many Pokemon we can take down in this next battle. If he brings the Arcanine, we might be in a little bit of luck here. He brought the Feeny. He brought the Feeny. He's in good shape. He brought the Mandibuzz. Misty Terrain will activate. And it will give an item for the Mandibuzz to be able to raise its special defense, so... <sighs> there is nothing... I don't like the forfeit matches, but for the sake of content for the channel, we will go ahead and forfeit because there is nothing else that we can do. My opponent did outplay us very well, and we need to continue on to learn how to play the game a lot better. Too much TCG. <laughs> Too much Coliseum. Hope you guys are enjoying, uh, enjoying all the other content on the channel, but I definitely want to do a lot more Pokemon battles. It's just a matter of finding opponents to face off. So if you are interested in a battle and have a DS and you think you would like to put on a good show for everyone, you know, shoot me a message on YouTube or Twitter. And I did not actually want to save the video, but I did. But it, it might be good to remember, to study that a little bit better. Okay. So we'll go on, go on ahead with our next battle. Let's put on a little bit more motivating music. We'll go with the My Friend How music. So we're at 1487 ranking right now. Not the highest, but we... We'll come back and try to get a few more wins for this video. We're facing someone from Italy today. 
and our opponent will be bringing an Espeon, a Salazzle, a Weavile, what is that called? A Crocodile, a Clefairy, and an Eevee. He has one of those sets already. We are open up with the Nine Tails to try to do as much damage as we can on that in case he brings that EV. And I do want to bring in Lucario. We have Milotic in the back. And Archeops can certainly bring. Espeon a run for its money. So we'll go ahead and bring those four for today. Good luck, my friend. The Leafeon is an interesting pick, though. It is especially physical. Wall. It's a physical wall. And it would do well against a lot of Pokemon like Garchomp and Kartana. Shiny Eevee. Okay. So he's going to fake out one of us. Okay. So we will go ahead and open up with a blizzard. And... We'll go ahead and Aura Sphere the Weavile. And he will go for the fake out. He will actually go for the fake out on the nine tails. Okay. Interesting move. But the Weavile will go ahead and faint here. Will the EV activate its Z move? I heard we're gonna cut this scene out in a bit. Alright, for those of you who don't know. Eevee supposedly gets a copyright for its signature Z move through the video that follows for it to boost all its stats by two. So I didn't want to risk that. Went ahead for cutting that part out. And this Eevee wants to do some work to us, I'm sure. I'm going to set up the Aura Veil. To try to boost our defenses a bit. And I'm going to try to take out the Clefairy with the Flash Cannon. Because the Follow Me is going to probably follow suit. Okay, we still out speed and are able to get an Aurora Veil out. So it boosts our defenses a bit. And Eevee will Baton Pass. Who will you Baton Pass that into? Because that is scary. Very scary. An Espeon. Good boy. Espeon is actually a really viable Pokemon. And I think its stat boosts are going to help it a lot right now. Getting the Aurora Bell up will help us out too. Who do we have in the back? Archaeops and Milotic. Yeah. We're gonna protect this turn. Lucario. And go for the Blizzard on Espeon. Because I'm predicting him to go ahead and try to take down Lucario quickly. Clefairy will go for the Protect. You know, use Store Power on the Ninetales. Wow. That's really cool. Boy. I think the next time we upload a VGC battle will be after I've done a lot more practicing off camera.
Clefairy's probably going to do the follow me again. We are going to go ahead and target that down and protect the Archeops. Okay, good. He is not at all scared of Lucario right now. We take down the Clefairy. I think the smart thing to do is to switch out into Milotic to preserve this Archaeops. And we'll flash cannon the Espeon slot. Hmm. Well, that did a lot of damage. How much will this flash cannon do? Rash nature. Hail stopped. We'll go ahead and Continental Crush the Espeon. We'll double up on it, because I'm pretty sure he might predict my Protect on the Archaeops. Ooh, he protects. And we'll get a Continental Crush, and that'll be nice. He keeps targeting that Lucario, just chip damage. I think we're in good shape. I'm curious how much this Continental Crush will do here. Come on, Archaeops. Endurance! Endurance! Okay. Aw, oh, it was holding a berry. Okay. Is he more likely to attack the Archaeops or the Lucario? The Archaeops. We'll go ahead for a flash cannon and protect the Archaeops. If he predicted and went for the the Lucario slot, then he is definitely a better trainer than I am. The Dazzling Gleam, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Alright, I wasn't anticipating the berry on the Espeon, so my opponent's going to go ahead and win this one. He did well. I do wish I got to play a little bit better, but... Got outspired by the Ebio boost. Not our best match of the day, but... We'll upload this. This is definitely a hard lesson for us. And we'll continue on to get stronger <laughs> off camera before we present ourselves on online. So regardless, if you guys enjoyed this battle at all, learned a few things, you can post in the comments below what your thoughts are if you want to continue this sort of series after I get better or not at all. I don't know, VGC double battles is very difficult and I have a long way to go up the, the road to even get to compete with the Elite. But that's all we have for today. This is the Shining Ally. Stay loyal, stay bright, and don't forget to share the light.